First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. Scott McNamara is the district, district attorney in Oneida County. Scott, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Do you have a favorite television program? I like of all time. Is there one for you? Oh, that's probably MASH. MASH. Yeah, probably. And that finale was just the saddest finale of all. And With the, the twist, didn't Klinger end up staying or something? Did he, is it is it the finale where where he died? Uh, what's his the the one character died in the helicopter crash, or was that just a later mm-hmm. episode? I don't remember. No, that was more at the beginning, wasn't it? That was Henry died, and then he was replaced. By, then he was um, replaced. You're right. Uh, yeah. That episode was uh, that was a sad episode. That episode had so many complaints. CBS mm-hmm. received so many complaints on that; it was crazy. Uh, but you're right, that was not the finale. Um, all right, let's talk about um, this terrible case in uh, in Utica and Oneida County and, of course, the sentencing of Brandon Clark for the murder of Bianca Devins. This is one of the saddest stories that I can recall ever having to talk about. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of the most disturbing um, homicides that uh, I've seen in my career, um, and I think because it was on video, that yeah. that's really troubling. So, okay, um, are you satisfied with this uh, with this sentence? It's the most we could get. Um, yeah. You know, it's 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 a complicated situation with um, him. I mean, you know, he's not wrong. I think he did have some mental health issues going on. But, you know, you know, what what do we do with people like him? And that's what scares me is, will he get the help that he needs when he's in prison? He will be eligible for parole in 25 years. I hope that he's never released. He's kind of shown that he'll put his interest above that of society. Um, whatever, you know, yeah. it fits him or yeah. suits him. So, um, how do you, know, you it, and, and how do uh, you, you know, he's saying he has mental illness. Okay. I think anyone who would do what he did has to be sick in the head. There's no doubt about that. But there, there's got to be a point in in society where we say uh, that's that's true. You are mentally ill, but what you did is so egregious that you have to be you have to be punished for that. Well, that's the you know that's basically the mentality that we we took on this case. You know, I don't think his mental health issues rose to the level where he didn't know what he was doing. He clearly knew what he was doing. Yeah. He planned that. Right. And, um, you know, and it was one of those situations where if I can't have, you know, it's will. Right. Um, but I, you know, it's, it's, it's an interesting situation because this, you know, the, the, it's a generation, his, that generation's living on social media mm-hmm. and, and almost not living in a world that the rest of us live in. And then when things don't go their way, yeah, yeah. you know, it's, it's like they're half in reality. Yeah, and you know, and as he was, you know, he's he's living. He was living a lot of his life through social media, and what yeah, uh, uh, you know, I, but, I, and I feel bad for the Bianca's family. I mean, oh my god, know, I do too. Yeah, yeah, you know, she had just graduated from high school, and her whole life's ahead of her. And then this guy, who you know, basically latched on to her, um, was you know, and if you paid it, and if you looked at the pictures that he used to post, he, they weren't even what he really looked like. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. the kind of life that he lived. Yeah. It, you know, it's, it's this fake life um, mm-hmm. through all these um, social media sites. What does 25 years to life mean in New York State today? 25 to life means that he has to serve the first 25 years in state prison, and at that point he becomes eligible for parole. And then he comes up for parole every two years. It does not mean that he will be released in 25 years. And I would suspect um, Bianca's family are, it will um, write letters to parole. Mm-hmm. Um, her grandfather has said so much. And then what happens is every two years, parole reviews his case and makes a decision whether or not he should be released. A lot of that depends upon um, how he behaves in prison, what what goes on in the next 25 years while he's in prison. But having said that, Bernard Hatch has been denied parole every single time he's come up. And Mm -hmm. from what I understand, 
um, as he got older in life, you know, he's been somewhat of a model citizen. They go back to the crime itself and like was hatched. The, the crime was so egregious. And at that yeah, time, yeah. back in the seventies, that was the, you know, that was the homicide that really disturbed everybody. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I think this is going to be one that lives in the, you know, it's just going to live in the yeah. minds of the community for, for a long, long time. Cause you have a young girl that was brutally murdered for I, yeah. no reason, you know, just absolutely. Um, no reason at all nobody else is going to have your mentality scott we appreciate it uh thank you for your time and i say congratulations but there's no happiness out of this uh it's what had to be done thanks thanks so much